I'm Bree, and this is TJ. In 2017, we decided to break away from the norm and travel the U.S. in our custom 4x4 van and Airstream. We loaded up our two dogs, Madley and Brody, and hit the road. We quickly realized life on the road is full of surprises, and our name-embracing detours fit our new life perfectly. Please subscribe, and welcome to the adventure. <laughs> it was a propeller, one part of the propeller for a windmill. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> that is insane how long and big that <laughs> propeller is. That was pretty awesome. We have come to Pocatello, Idaho and are staying at a casino. And if I'm being honest, you know, it's Nowhere near as serene. You don't get the breathtaking views like we did at the National Forest Land we were just at. That's our view right there, the parking lot of the casino. And they definitely pack us in here pretty tight. But what it has going for it is full hookups for $27 a night. And honestly, after three weeks boondocking, um, that's much needed and appreciated. So since we've been here, we've been to Costco, the pet store, Home Depot, and we just needed, you need that balance, or we do anyways, of really beautiful, serene, free public land camping. But then sometimes you mix in these maybe not so beautiful places, but that offer you some amenities uh, like hookups that you need to just get cleaned up and regroup. Um, so that's what we're doing here. One of the things on my agenda is to groom the dogs. Something I'm famous for procrastinating on. I put it off for way too long and poor Brody here has turned into a bear. So I can procrastinate no longer. It's time to get it done. We could do you in about five minutes. Him, five hours. That took a while. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. And you're <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I don't think you can even see it, but covered. I'm covered in hair. There, you can see that. <laughs> filming this because I forgot to turn the mic on the first time. Early mornings are not good for me. But we are headed out of Pocatello this morning. We got almost everything on our list then, minus... Almost, except for washing the rig. Yeah, we really want to wash the van and Airstream, but... We just, we just ran out of time. But moving on into Colorado. I'm excited! We haven't been to Colorado since our first uh, year. Long time. Has. I'm excited to get back. Get up 
destination is on the right. Well, we ended up at a KOA in Grand Junction. I'm just headed in now to check in. You know, this is a plus of not planning too far ahead is that you can check weather and see if you're able to dry camp or not. It uh, is going to be approaching 90 the next couple of days. So we decided we wanted hookups for that. See, how can I help you? I just made a reservation. Oh, no. Are there any questions or concerns? No, that's it. All right, well, there's that for you. Thank you. Yeah, you have a good day. You too. All right, all checked in. Uh, so there's a lot of boondocking around here and it's unfortunate that we're not able to take advantage of it, but um, with the heat, we're just uncomfortable, especially with the dogs. We'd rather have hookups to run the air conditioning. So uh, there is a state park nearby. Uh, we actually tried to get in there first, but they didn't have availability. Even in the middle of the week, even in mid-September, so, oh well. Level. We had to get a new jack, like, it's been like a year ago now, and our new jack comes with a remote, which is pretty handy for leveling. Good to go. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been grateful for hookups while we've been here. It's been hot. <laughs> it's crazy. It's really hot. <laughs> How? Got, got, well, we say hot, but it probably got to 90 today maybe. Well, I mean, I feel like that's pretty hot for Colorado in September. Mid-September. It's September 15th today. That's gonna be great. Else. Yeah, fingers crossed it holds out and we don't freeze our butts up when we get up at, at well, elevation. Yeah, we're still at pretty low elevation here, I think 4,500 feet, so yeah. we're going up to 11,000. So it could get chilly there, but yeah, kind of looking forward to it. Absolutely. Cooler weather and getting back into the Rockies. We're, I can't believe it's been over two years. It was May of 2018 that we were last here. And this has been one of our favorite states. So I'm not sure why it took us over two years to get back, but- There's a lot of country to see. There is, I agree. And we try to, to see new places, but there's a lot of Colorado we haven't seen. So we're gonna try to fit a, a good amount in while we're here before it gets too cold. Yeah. So we're headed out now to go explore a place we never even knew existed. So this is the map of Colorado National Monument. We're entering through the east entrance in Grand Junction and doing the 23 mile scenic drive to the west entrance in Fruta. It's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. There is camping in here at Saddlehorn closer to Fruta, but it is dry camping and we were looking for hookups because of the heat. We did read online that if you're planning to camp at the campground here in the National Monument, I think it's called Saddlehorn, that you want to enter from the west entrance, the one near Fruta, because it's only four miles from the entrance the campground is. And it's supposed to be a really curvy, um, windy road with tunnels and steep grades and the whole nine yards. <laughs> Not the sort of thing you necessarily want to be towing on. We've stopped at one of the lookout points here, and so far we're probably not even five miles into this drive, but so far it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Canyonlands or Bryce Canyon, that kind of place. It looks less like what you think of Colorado, right. and more of what you think of Utah. Exactly. Yeah. Which makes sense because we're very, very close to Utah here, and very close to arches and Canyonlands and those areas, yeah. uh, but so far, Pretty cool. This 
23 mile rim rock road that we're doing is really popular with bikers. Yeah, we've seen a lot of road bikers coming up and down. So at one point in our lives, <laughs> TJ <laughs> and I, years ago. I don't know if we consider ourselves bikers anymore. We unfortunately don't get our mountain bikes out of the van as often as we'd like. But we also used to have road bikes and it would be nothing for us to ride 23 miles back in the day. But I'm not sure that we were ever cut out for this 23 miles. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Well, I you could know, totally do this. You know, honestly, he probably could. Me? That's a different story. I'm not cut out for that. I'm a flatlander. My <laughs> lungs can't handle that. But it, if you are a road biker and you are more fit than at least I am anyways, this would be an absolutely incredible ride to do. This is spectacular. How did I not know this even existed? I don't think anybody knows it exists. It's like a well-kept secret, but holy cow, it's incredible. Definitely, definitely worth a stop. Well, that was Colorado National Monument. Two thumbs up. I'll help you. Thank you. <laughs> Surprisingly, when we research things to do in Grand Junction when we knew that we were going to be spending a night or two here. This didn't come up as one of the things to do in Grand Junction. No, we we were just looking at the map and, and trying to choose our route through Colorado. It's all Colorado National Monument. We're like, hey, we got to go there. Absolutely, yeah. And, but our normal, you know, Yelp and, and TripAdvisor, our normal channels that we use for finding things to do, None of them even mentioned this place, which is really surprising to me. It is. So if you find yourself coming through the area, definitely put the monument, as it's known to locals, on your list. We're moving to Montrose and Black Canyon of the Gunnison today, which is at about 8,000 feet in elevation. And we're currently at about 4,500 feet in elevation. So we'll be basically doubling our elevation. Not basically, but almost doubling our elevation. Honestly, we didn't mention it yesterday, but I think that's probably a big reason why it's taken us so long to get back into Colorado is because of the grades. But we're gonna suck it up and get it done this time. Ready to go? Well, I'd love to go, but there's nowhere for me to put my feet. <laughs> Every time we get in the van, this has to happen. Every time I get in the van, I have nowhere to put my feet. <laughs> well, in about two seconds, you're gonna get out and dump the garbage, and you'll have plenty of room for your feet. Yay. yay. As always, a big thank you to our patrons whose support helped make these videos possible. If you'd like to help support the production of our videos, please head over to patreon.com forward slash embracing detours. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.